They've been asking for help for five years now. Now people living near the Comores plant in Fayetteville may get some relief when it comes to clean drinking water. State lawmakers are moving ahead with a new plan, but not without controversy. But what I will fight for, once again, is to protect my ratepayers that I represent. Tired of waiting on the federal government, both Republican and Democratic members of the state house are trying to take care of the problem themselves. I think it was important for it to happen right now because it's become such an issue in North Carolina. You know, you can't have areas of our state where, I mean, there are flat, huge concerns about drinking water. In 2017, Camores was found to be leaching PFAS, or forever chemicals, into the soil, the Cape Fear River, and the air. The plant in Fayetteville used the chemicals to make nonstick cookware. After pressure from regulators, Camores has since taken measures to stop the chemicals from getting into the environment. But state lawmakers want to take it further by taking the burden away from residents and local governments. Ratepayers that have to pay for something that they had no control over and was done by a responsible party who's very, very capable of paying to have this done. Camores is a multi-billion dollar company. But during Thursday's committee hearing, industry representatives and the Chamber of Commerce took issue with that. Our state will lose potential jobs if this bill passes. Policy and regulations should reflect actual exposure to and risk from chemicals in specific products. The way this bill is drafted, it would circumvent the federal regulatory process to treat all PFAS as if they were hazardous substances. Overall. This bill is wholly unnecessary. The sponsor of the bill, Representative Ted Davis, was not having it, saying he has always worked hard to recruit new industry to locate in North Carolina. If he really wants to show that they care about the people, that their business affects, then why don't they pay for all these things that are having to be done in Brunswick County water system and New Hanover County water system to make the water safe from the contamination that they put into that river so that people can have safe water to drink. They should be responsible for those costs, not the people who consume the water House Bill 1095 would keep public water system customers from having to pay to remove such chemicals from their drinking water. It would also create enforceable drinking water standards for PFAS compounds. If those levels are exceeded, the responsible party can be ordered to pay for the installation, maintenance, and operation of the necessary treatment systems. These costs should not be borne by the residents of these communities. And for their part, Camores did respond to my request for comment, saying in part, Camores is disappointed that the bill appears directed to one company and to propose administrative processes for which legal and judicial authority already exist. Noting the company is committed to spending $400 million to control, monitor, and treat air and water, they also added, we know of no other company that has done as much to create a responsible manufacturing environment as Camores has. We've got that full statement posted for you right now at CBS17.com.